Okay, now talking of the implementation milestones. Um, if you talk of discovery and mock-up and solution design, what we will do is we'll take these two things at the end of the training someday, and uh, and we will we will see how we have specific templates. So uh, so when I'm telling that it has specific templates, what do we do? We call a discovery stage of a project as the inception of the project, a project that has just been onboarded. And discovery phase uh, and mock-up phase is basically where you are gathering information, right? So there must have been scenarios, uh, because I've seen these scenarios pretty much, whereby a project gets onboarded from another agency, from another client, from another company that was handling this project. And now this year they didn't renew with them, but they came and renewed with, uh, with say, uh, with say another agency, and you are a part of it, and you need to onboard it. You see, onboarding is a very important task because you need to be aware of all the small aspects that has happened with this project earlier. And then you want to optimize the. Uh, firstly, when you then you want to understand what was happening earlier first. And, and get all the, say, all the accesses for the databases, accesses for the tools, understand the KPIs, understand the business goals, understand what are those, um, uh, those metrics or those uh, dimensions, which basically contributes uh, towards this the industry I'm working with. You may be a part of, say, five, you may be working, say, for automobile, you're working with Nissan. Uh, for um, uh, telecom, you're working with at and For a retail, you might be working with the Procter & Gamble. For banking, you might be working with HDFC. For um, healthcare, you may be working with a J&J. But all the, uh, so all these clients are from separate domains, right? And all the clients don't want their data to be modeled the same way or the interpretations to be the same way um, as 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 you want to like you know show them like you know what this is what we did for Nissan and this is the same exact dashboard I want to give you J and J and they'll say that no this is not relevant for me you need to make your findings relevant your way of execution relevant and that happens in the discovery and mockup whereby you need to work with the client you need to understand every small aspect that comes to your mind you might think it's a silly question but you never know that question is how important it is so that has a separate template we will work on that uh, as part of a use case maybe or if we are not working that use case what I'll do is i'll show you guys and i'll provide you guys with this discovery and up templates uh, from my side so that you know it becomes easy for you to understand uh, like looking at my client what are the things I need to keep in mind before I uh, before I go ahead and before I um, at least try to develop a solution for them solution get it because solution is something we, we have to like invest a lot of brain in it uh, before the, before you are like you know trying to do this uh, rich solution design for them, it's very much important that you go ahead and ask the end-to-end -end implementation. These are the things. Okay, you have five channels. What are the processes? How do we connect them? Are there APIs for them? Are there, there is this data coming through a, a data source or any of your account manager is going to provide me the data? If yes, how? what is the case so on and so forth so this entire holistic approach if you have done in your day one of onboard like if i when i mean day one of onboarding it's basically between all the days say to develop your solution design like it's going to be pretty easy solution design is nothing but creating a design of the entire pathway and presenting it to your client what do i mean by that it's basically creating a flood of activities that is going to happen as part of a harmonization and ingestion and visualization process. 
that you create as a solution design whereby you try to segment your data you trend uh, you firstly you have your data and you want to bifurcate that data into various um, various ways say suppose you have a uh, have page search you have identified a okay, in page search i need to classify the first position as brand the second position as country third position as this 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 facebook how does it work doesn't work if i need to hard code any values then this is the field that i need to hard code this is the field i need to uh, you know use a um, use a statement which basically contains uh, contains i, I need to use contains uh, statement and i need to derive this part of the uh, of the process or if i need to do a, a look up i need to do all things like you know comes in your harmonization you 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 present it then comes how will you do it you have to identify what are your dimensions that you need to calculate what are your measurements that you need to calculate what are the what are the various uh, you know harmonization factors like say you need to create a classification you need to create a pattern for yourself to identify all things and 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 then arrive at your visualization whereby you say that you know what what i will provide you with these 10 charts uh, which i think is helpful for you i'll provide you with five native charts, three custom charts and 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 that will help you do this 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 part of the business you mentioned that you need x thing i have provided that in this way so that's called a solution design providing your client with a blueprint of what you are going to do next next comes data integration we have discussed integration can be in many ways we will discuss it uh, in the next topics uh, comes harmonization harmonization is a very important uh, topic when we are uh, talking about data rama because harmonization uh, in data rama contains um, there are some options i'll say like you know it's not that it's a set process that oh you go ahead and you we look up and you are done for the day no but you have pretty much options which are scalable now scalability is something which is which is a very important term in terms of today's world because you may go ahead and create um, so you uh, you so suppose you are onboarding a project and you want to you know you have a very very big deadline for yourself what you do is you go ahead and create uh, creating calculated uh, dimensions and calculated measurements so cal calculated dimension as in say suppose you need uh, oh okay i need this for a brand i'll use if else if brand is this then give this okay i need to have click okay i do this now that is something that people when they are onboarding in a very tight deadline and there's nothing wrong in it calculate dimensions are are in a tool to facilitate you with these services definitely yes but scalability is something which makes a process scalable and uh, you know for a long term so for long term you need to understand because calculated fields keep on increasing if there's a tendency to create calculated fields now what affects is that loading time the graph loading time you will see that your graph loads loads and loads and loads it fails correct i'm sure you if you work with data rama and if your data if your graphs are data heavy you must have seen the uh, the graph scaling to load as well because it's 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 pretty much, pretty much calculating on the fly right so if you have 100 calculated dimensions in there and you change a single date as well it keeps on calculating getting calculating and as the flight does its calculation and shows and then throws up um so yeah so harmonization program also comes up with something called a uh, um um you know a reimmersion or a reimmersion or something uh, like uh, classifications which help you with uh, you know with, with with normalizing all these uh aspects and uh, and have a smoother harmonization and we talk the visualization so let's not spend much time on that yeah so a cloud based business intel 
digital tool from Salesforce. So let's go ahead. So how do we have these um, these um, codes split across? We have like you know, I've named it as phases. You may call it where you wish to. Uh, we we will have a datorama overview of how the how the tool is the tool looks like and stuff. And we need to understand the most difficult part of datorama is phase one because it involves data modeling. Data modeling is something which which is tremendously um, important and which is very important. Please understand if you don't understand bug me, uh, but data understand data modeling. If you understand data modeling, you are seven percent through with Datorama because everything involves data modeling and everything is all about how you model your data. Second, we will have ingestion, API connectors, total connect. We will look at data analysis using Datorama, pivot tables, automated report. So this basically is a dump of whatever came to my mind that I write in the course outline. Um, harmonization center, data classification pattern, nice dimensions, re emergence, uh, visualizations, data on a marketplace, custom with parent child formulas, goals, and exercises. So, every course that every phase that we cross, or no, every topic that we cross involves an exercise for you that I'll be providing. I guess uh, I need to provide the exercises to. Uh, to Ravalika and team, and they will uh, they will basically provide this uh, exercise off to you. Okay, and uh, please do please do uh, uh, read. Uh, please do go ahead. I'll provide you with. Uh, okay, so what I'll be providing you with first is the training that happens in this time. Second, I'll be providing you with PDFs of the topics that we have covered each day i'll be providing you with the pdfs which will help you go ahead and understand oh we did discuss this with vinod today i need to go back i need to understand what are the things we have discussed and how uh, because the pdfs will be a bit more elaborate i believe so so you can go ahead and learn from them and third aspect of that topic will be exercises right simpler ones 